Hey there Pokemon fans, Readers here with another deck review video. This week I'm going to deck review playtest and hit the tournaments with a Lucario and Medicham deck. I named it Lucario Medicham obviously because of the two main uh, Pokemon cards in this deck. So, we have two Lucario EX and that's basically the Pokemon, the uh, maybe most powerful Pokemon. It's not, but it is one of the most powerful Pokemon. So pretty obvious, uh, what is wrong here? Did I get a disconnect? Oh yeah, no I didn't. So, we have uh, Lucario EX with missi uh, Missile Jab, 30 damage, and it ignores the resistance with 1 energy, with 2 fighting energy, um, cor Corkscrew Smash, 60 damage, and you get to draw cards until you have 6 cards in your hand, very nice, and with 3 energy, Somersault Kick, 100 damage, and that's all. And it's not bad. It's one of the very few Pokemon with three abilities, three moves, and that's amazing. Weakness to um, Psychic is quite sad, but what can you expect from a fighting type Pokemon? Most fighting type Pokemon has, have weakness in uh, Psychic, so that's quite cool. No resistance there, uh, and two retreat cost, which is quite a lot, but that's all. That's what we've got here. But anyways... So, uh, this is our maybe maybe the, me the best Pokemon, I'm not sure about that. We have three Medita Meditite and three Meditam. Meditite is not a bad Pokemon by itself. It, it has very low HP, but it can be very, very aggressive in few circumstances. Even in the very first turn, it can knock out many basic Pokemon, believe it or not, with a Muscle Band and a strong energy. It deals 60 damage, which is quite a lot, able to knock out almost every, almost every single basic uh, stage 1 Pokemon. Basic Pokemon which evolves to another one. So, we have 3 Meditam. This is one of the best Pokemon in this deck, maybe the best Pokemon in this deck, with Omega Barriage. And that's awesome, it, it allows this Pokemon to deal, to attack twice. So you can Calm Mind and Yoga Kick, or double Calm Mind, or double Yoga Kick. Uh, the Calm Mind heals 30 damage, you will, I, I rarely use that, maybe never, maybe. And the Yoga Kick with 2 energy deals 30 damage, this attack damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance. So keep that in mind, you cannot take advantage of your opponent's weakness with Medicham, unfortunately. Uh, but you also ignore the resistance, which is quite amazing. Now, the, the trick is, the best thing that you can do in this deck is to put strong energy in, yo in uh, Medicham for Yoga Kick. So, with two strong energy, this is 50, 70 damage. It is 70 plus 70, 120 damage, which is quite a lot, honestly. And with a Muscle Band, it is 90, 90 plus 90, that's 180. And with a... Stadium that you are going to see right next uh, very soon. It is 110 and 110, two th 220 damage for Pokemon EXs. So Meditam, amazing card. This is uh, a very aggressive Pokemon. And yeah, we have two Haluchas for uh, knocking out, for dealing with our opponents. Um, Pokemon EX is, it, it is a very aggressive solution to Pokemon EX, again with strong energy, it is even stronger with Muscle Band, even strong, stronger, and with the Fighting Stadium, let me check this out very quickly, Fighting Stadium, even stronger against Pokemon EX, uh, so that's, that's that, also no retreat cost, which is amazing, a very good Pokemon to start the game with, Halucha, fantastic, next we have... One Saming EX, I guess that this uh, uh, could be two. I, I would like to have two Saming EX in this deck. Every deck should have at least two Saming EX. Every single deck now has Saming EX. Every, every single deck. At least two, but I don't have a second one. So if you do have, put a second one and I don't know what you want to remove. Maybe a trainer or something. We will see later on. And Saming, obviously... Pretty much self-explanatory for the setup ability. We don't run double colorless energy in this deck. Uh, we don't need to because we have so many fighting type Pokemon. And we need the fighting type energy. So we don't plan on using the Sky Return. We can use the Sky Return with basic fighting type energies. Uh, and I do that a few times. Also, if you don't have any other Pokemon to put your energy to and you don't want to lose an energy drop, Saming is a good 
target because you can use the sky return and return both saving and the energy and save your energy and keep your uh, energy drops uh, there anyways so it is for setting up our uh, hand obviously we have two landers and that is for basically for the south of power our ability to put two energy per turn in landers basically or any other pokemon but most most i usually put that uh, in um, I put that extra energy in landers in um, lucario i'm sorry lucario also it is one of the few um, it is one fighting type pokemon with weakness in water uh, instead of psychic so that's quite cool or bad sometimes so that's the Pokemon in this deck. Uh, our best, in my opinion, the best Pokemon, uh, the, the Pokemon that I win most matches with is the Medicham because it can literally knock out almost everything uh, if set up correctly. And I'm going to show you the energy first. We have four fighting strong energy, which is a uh, energy. It, it is something like a muscle band for fighting type Pokemon only. The attack of uh, the fighting type Pokemon this card is attached to deals 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon before applying weakness and resistance. It can only be placed in a fighting type Pokemon, but that's not a problem with us. And we have seven uh, normal fighting type, basic fighting type energy. Now, we have two enchanted hammers. Very important, my friends. Every single deck now has at least at least uh, one playset of special energy maybe double colorless energy maybe strong energy maybe um, I don't know uh, double dragon energy the double the the special energy is very very popular currently in the standard format especially since X and Y and on which is when uh, we are in the X and Y and on category right now. But anyways, we, uh, so it is very important to have two, at least two, Enchanted Hammer. Very nice card. We have uh, three level balls to get our basic forms. It can get both Meditite and Meditam. Keep that in mind. Meditam has 98 HP, so it can bring Meditam as well, which is amazing. It can bring Haluchas and that's all. Halucha, Meditam and Meditite. Amazing. Mm, then we have uh, two sweets. This is basically for Lucario. That's the the uh, hardest card to get to uh, get to sweet. You have to sacrifice a lot of energy. I'm not sure about the sweets. If it is such a good one, I find myself discarding the sweets with uh, Ultra Ball many times. But uh, you know, sometimes it just saves your life. A uh, battle compressor is basically for landers. It helps us get three energy in the discard bio and uh, set up our landers combo uh, and that's why we have only one it's not so important you can replace that if you don't feel like it's good enough you maybe you can get a professor's letter to do to just get the energy in your hand but we have so many discard uh, supporters which i don't know uh, maybe bottle compressor is better we have four versus seeker vs seeker to uh, return a supporter from our discard pile to our hand pretty much self-explanatory have three Ultra Balls to bring a Saming, which is the most uh, uh, common target for Ultra Ball. You empty your hand and then you get a Saming and fill your hand, and fill up your hand again. Or you may bring any other Pokemon. Basically, it can bring any Pokemon, a Lucario EX or a Meditam or whatever you may need. We have three Professor's Bridge or Bridges Observation. Um, this is maybe the best draw supporter. Uh, in the game right now, after Professor Sycamore, it is better than Tierno. Uh, it, you get to shuffle, but you draw at least four cards, so it's quite better than Tierno. I d it depends on the occasion. Okay, we have four Professor Sycamore. There is no deck without four Professor Sycamore currently in the meta game, so this is an amazing supporter card. Discard your hand, draw seven cards. Many times, discarding your hand is good for this deck, so keep that in mind as well. We have one Corina. To bring one fighting type Pokemon and a tool card. You can win games with this card, my friend. You can bring a muscle band and just uh, get that extra 20 damage that you were missing or anything. It is very nice. Or a stadium card or whatever. It's very, very good. We have two Lysander 
to switch to four switch our opponent's active Pokemon and knock out a Pokemon EX and grab that extra uh, prize that we need to win the game. That's a, a um, very common situation. We have one Hex Maniac to shut off, shut down. I don't know uh, our opponents and ours basically uh, abilities, Pokemon abilities that helps with Saming EX. That helps with. Uh, Villa Plume, that helps with quite a few Pokemon right now, with uh, Aegislas EX, very very uh, good card, but we don't need more than one. One is way more than enough, and we have four VS Seekers, so if we need more, we can bring it back, of course. We have three Fighting Stadium, which increases the attacks of uh, Fighting Type Pokemon in play, do 20 more damage to the defending Pokemon EX. That helps uh, Medicham and all the Pokemon basically to knock out our opponent Pokemon EX. And our deck has only two Pokemon EX, two, uh, um, Meg and two Lucario EX, which means that we are not, uh, I don't know, it's not hurting us so bad. The Fighting Stadium is not hurting us so bad in a case where our opponent has fighting type Pokemon as well, so that's nice there. And also, it helps us counter our opponent's stadium cards. So, stadium cards are so popular right now. I don't know, um, uh, Forest of Giant Lands is very, very popular and very powerful. Uh, the Water Sea, Rough Seas, I think, is very powerful. The uh, Dimension Valley is very, very powerful. So having uh, three, at least three stadium cards is very important to just counter your opponent's stadium cards. We have three muscle bands. Believe me, this is an amazing card. It helps you just get that extra 20 damage that you need. And in a Medicham, that's not 20, that's 40 damage. It, it is very, very powerful. Trust me, the whole deck is about having aggressive Pokemon and making them even powerful with tool cards and special energies and stadium cards. That's how this deck is working. So pretty much self-explanatory. We have two Focus Sass. Believe it or not, this is a very powerful card because uh, it says that if a fighting type Pokemon this card is attached to has full HP and would be knocked out by damage for an opponent's attack, that Pokemon is not knocked out and its remaining, remaining HP becomes 10 instead. Then this card is uh, discard this card. So, uh, why this is powerful? How can I explain that? You have to see that if you if you don't already know. So sometimes you just attack and you um, you need one more chance to attack once more to knock out your opponent. So that's exactly what Focus Sass does. It guarantees that you are going to double attack. That's all. It guarantees that you are going to double attack. Pretty much, that, that's it, pretty much. If you didn't understand that, I will try to explain that in the comments better. And finally, last but not least, we have two head ringers to uh, make it harder for our, our opponents to deal their, their attacks. And also, keep that in mind, if you attach a head ringer to a Pokemon EX, the Pokemon EX cannot attack, attach, uh, uh, get, uh, your opponent cannot attach any other uh, tool card in that Pokemon EX and uh, and the reverse is also true if your opponent has a muscle band for example in his Pokemon EX you cannot attach Headringer so you have to be fast enough to attach the Headringer in your opponent's Pokemon EX and then you can block all the spirit links he or she cannot spirit link any of his Pokemon to go for a Mega and uh, no um, no muscle bands no nothing so that's Another upside in this card, uh, not only that it has, it needs one more colorless energy to attack. So that was the deck. Tell me in the comments below, what do you think about this deck? Uh, if we could improve it, uh, write in the comments below if you have any suggestions for improvements. I don't know, I've, I've play tested this deck quite a lot and I have a, an above 50% win rate, so that's quite cool. So tell me in the comments below if you like it, if you would like to build it, if you already have it, if you have playtested with it, if you have any, su any suggestions for uh, changes, corrections and stuff, and if you think that this is competitive enough. 
We will see that. We will play this and hit the tournaments with this deck. So I really hope that I'm going to win a tournament with this uh, Lucario and Medicham deck. So until next time, the good care of yourself. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you are new and check out the description of this video for awesome links. And I will see you in the playtest and tournament video. Until then, take good care and bye. See ya.